Hey guys, so in this episode, I want to share with you a little bit about the incredible experience I had, which was the culmination of one of my big dreams, to be able to work on a travel docu-series show on Apple freaking TV. This was one of the coolest experiences of my life, and I still can't believe it happened. How crazy was that? That was the S2000 in the intro. Well, that's the hey, I'm Albo. I came to Japan as an English teacher, then moved near Tokyo to pursue my passions. I became a filmmaker because I love cars, Japanese culture, and a good story. I'm lucky enough to live the JDM dream, and so my videos are about my car life in Japan, where I go to car meets and visit shops, do track days and toge runs, build and review cars, and shoot vlogs, short films, and documentaries about Japan's car culture and history. Join me and my friends on our adventures and find out what it's really like in the land of the rising sun. So hop in, fasten your seatbelts, and enjoy the ride. This program is brought to you by the sponsor. Guys, we got our house. If you've been following in the past few videos, you know we've been trying to move, and we finally were approved. We started moving everything. It was a process that took weeks it was exhausting i mean we got professional movers and everything and even with that it was just it took a long time but through it all we, there was so much stuff that continued it was my birthday recently kept going to that goku just the usual stuff but it has been an exhausting past couple months and uh well you know what life goes on and i'm gonna be editing some of these videos in the future hopefully yeah here's my new house it's i love it absolutely love it we even got a new car for my wife it's got seven seaters uh just planning for the future you know and so in this video i'll just give you guys an update i wanted to update you guys on the living room so a lot a lot of parts of the house we kind of want to keep private or my wife wants to keep a little bit more private but i think the living room is okay and you can see we actually did a lot to this space. I'm super, super thrilled with how this turned out. Now it really, really does feel like home. So we ordered this couch like two months ago, back in early January, and it finally arrived. I love it. Like this whole thing was pretty much um, custom built, made from like solid wood. And it's like this two piece. It's really, really nice and just kind of flows with everything. Somehow we were able to match like the wood, like this wood with the wood of that uh, table and the uh, TV uh, TV stand over there. And yeah, so pretty much everything here is pretty much like new. We wanted like a fresh start and we really just wanted like the house to really feel like home and feel like a place that we could just like live for like the next, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 years. You know, that being said, I kind of am thinking about this house somewhat like a starter home, but here in Japan, you know, unless you become like super successful, people tend to live in like the same home for like, you know, 20, 30 years, just because uh, in Japan, typically the price of the houses, it doesn't increase. Like real estate prices don't increase the way that they do back in Canada or in the States. So people tend to buy like the house that they can afford when they decide to buy a house, uh, which is definitely what we did. But you know, hopefully in the future, if things really start taking off, if, if YouTube just like my business like goes, does really well, who knows, in the future we might need a bigger house, maybe we'll have like more than two kids. Uh, and in the future, I would love to build like a house with two or three garage spaces. Like that's like the big car dream for car guys here in Japan. But I'm honestly, I, I love this house, you know. It, of course we had to make some sacrifices, but I absolutely love the place and how it's all come together. For me, one of the cool things that I always wanted to do was just to have like a wall-mounted TV and so, just a, even just just this, you know, it's it's not that big of a deal for like a lot of people, but for me, um, it's always been like a big dream, right? Nick Chan, Sunny, you too, right? Have that nice wall mounted TV. So this is like a 65 inch uh, Sony TV, and uh, yeah, we got a new FL5 here as well. Now I'll have to make do with this until the real one comes in October. So. That's it, that's the house update. I just, I love this place. I can't believe we were able to make it all happen. It's pretty much the main reason I haven't been able to put out a lot of videos. Just the house stuff has been so busy, just so exhausting. And work has been kind of crazy as well. But you know, uh, we'll talk about it more later in the video, but I really want to try to figure out how to take this to the next level. You know, it's because a lot of times I'm like, what am I doing? You know, let's let's do it. Let's, let's, let's kick it up a notch. 
and uh it's all thanks to your guys support making it possible for me and my family so thank you guys anyways there is one more thing i really 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 wanted to show you guys so let's go ahead and open up apple tv so i really really wanted to show this to you guys this is totally crazy guys i'm on apple tv it's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. This is a show called The Reluctant Traveler. It's a travel show with Eugene Levy. I co-hosted the Tokyo episode and it's, it's, it blows my mind. Check this out. Actually, let's, let's start from the beginning. There we go. Here we go. So the host of the show is Eugene Levy, who you might remember from American Pie. And in this travel show, he goes around the world and explores outside of his hotel. How crazy was that? That was the S2000 in the intro. So in a Tokyo episode, I was basically Eugene's Uber. Kind of like a Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift Uber with me and my friends and I picked him up in my S2000 and gave him a ride to his hotel and it was crazy. How crazy is this? How completely, completely crazy is this? Guys, to think that this all started from making silly videos in my apartment in the Japanese countryside and that it would somehow culminate in me giving Jim's dad a drive around Tokyo and hanging out on camera in a movie version of myself. Life is so weird, but I guess in the multiverse, anything is possible. And I somehow, through sheer will, manifested my consciousness into the version of reality where this actually happened. How was that? Scary. That was scary. It was really cool because in the car we actually had a real conversation. One of the things that Eugene asked me was why I came to Japan. I was just enamored with something that seemed like a different world. This show was half scripted, so it felt like what I do on YouTube, but much more produced and manufactured. They gave me some talking points, so it was kind of like a conversation on rails. The best way I can describe it is you get the sense of nostalgia for a place you've never ever been. Guys, this drive might have been one of the most epic moments of my life. I kind of feel like I'm in a video game right now, to be honest. So I decided to split this video up into two parts because otherwise it became a little bit too long of a video. And uh, yeah, I basically wanted to make this video kind of focus on just the Apple TV, that whole story thing. So uh, I'm gonna release a second video, which is just a continuation of same day like pretty much right away so you can just click on the link in the description box so thanks for watching this video and uh yeah that was crazy experience wasn't it uh it just really goes to show i guess what happens if you kind of stick to a goal for so many years and put your mind to it and uh hopefully that's just the beginning of what's to come because i would love to have like my own full show on like netflix someday so fingers crossed and uh let's just keep going I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you so much. This is the sponsor of the show.